Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. -E and I encourage you yourself to get out there into the field and prospect for your own beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Your contributions allow me to buy more materials to bring you fascinating science demonstrations. Today's demonstration is on chemistry. We're going to be looking at chemoluminescence. When reactants react together, they either form an endothermic or an exothermic reaction. An endothermic reaction absorbs energy from the environment and appears cold to the touch. An exothermic reaction releases energy into the atmosphere environment and appears hot to the touch. Some reactions produce light with no heat, and that's what we'll be looking at today. I have a tablespoon and I'm going to add water to the tablespoon and pour it into the beaker. Now I'm going to add percarbonate mixture, one ladle, one lab ladle full of a small amount. Next, I'm going to add a small ladle full of luminol. And finally, I'm going to add just a few crystals of copper sulfate. You don't want to add too much copper sulfate or the reaction won't work. Let's take a look at the chemical reaction. And it's luminescing, chemoluminescence, turning blue, releasing light in the exothermic reaction with no heat, like fireflies with luminol and luminase. That's a highly unusual thing because most reactions release heat and reactions that release light also release heat but not with the copper sulfate crystals and these compounds. A 
I can you can see it turning blue emitting blue light And now the reaction has finished. The products have formed and there is no more chemoluminescence occurring. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals always reminding you in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals you only have to do one thing and that is to keep looking down.